Here's Brody Brazil. So this is a video I've been meaning to make for quite some time now. For whatever reason, I just never got around to it. And I was kind of frustrated by that. However, what I've now understood is that maybe all of that was for the best because my work bag, I'm pretty sure, just turned approximately 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, I've had this thing since I want to say early 2012, a decade with this particular bag, which means imagine the road trips, imagine the stories, imagine all the places this thing has been. In fact, it almost got stolen, I want to say, on at least one occasion, definitely almost got lost on another. So all that being said, it's here with me now. It's not so much the bag that's special, it's what I put in it, what I use in this bag, what exactly could a broadcaster need on a regular basis? I'm about to go through that with you here. Um, but I also just want to tell you this bag in particular, I have enjoyed it. It's a Toomey brand bag, very well built. I mean, I knew that when I bought it. Quite honestly, I spent way more than I should have back in 2012. But at the same respect, the only reason I got it was because whatever I was using at that time was... Um, let's just say far less superior, far less quality. And I wanted to treat myself because I was working two jobs at once. I was doing TV at night. I was doing radio in the mornings and afternoons. And, you know, because I was working really hard and I said, all right, you're a professional now. Treat yourself to something you're going to have for quite some time. That's this bag. I don't even know the, the model of it, but the brand obviously is Toomey. It's got the uh, custom monogram there, BMB, which I chose in red. Anyway, um, it was, it was a treat back then, and I knew that I was going to try and have it for a very long time. Here it is 10 years in, quite honestly. I think it could go uh, at least another 10 years. It's held up pretty well, despite all of the arenas, stadiums, trunks, uh, taxis, Ubers, airplanes, you name it. Uh, this bag has been filled to the brim inside of it. So let's get into the actual bag itself. Obviously, it's primarily made with this big opening to carry a laptop, um, which is right here. I've already got the MacBook Pro out. I need that to make this video, so uh, I'm not going to pull that out. That's already out. The computer is usually in a case, and there's also the charging accessories for it. I stick that all right there in the main compartment. I also have a, a clipboard, which I'll get into in just a second. I use that clipboard for pretty much every show on a nightly basis. Okay. Uh, that brings us to inside this kind of main pocket. This is the main pocket area that I use. There's really one, two, three, four pockets on the front. Um, so let me let me pull out the thing that uh, stands out the most and that I probably use on the most regular basis. <laughs> of course, of course, it's tangled with with something else right now. Uh, but that is this my my television earpiece. And I can't put this in right now, but this is a custom molded earpiece. Um, all of these come. Uh, I, I, what I mean, all of these, every broadcaster pretty much across television and media uh, that's on camera uses one of these. They all come from one company, I believe in Wisconsin. It's called Audio Implements. And it kind of looks like that, you know, security detail earpiece. It kind of goes around your ear like this. And then there's a um, clip which goes on the back of your, your, sh your shirt. And so all of this is to make it so that you can't see the earpiece that's in my ear. Now, I'm already wearing uh, a different set of earpieces here for recording this video, but this is the one. I mean, literally, this is the one that I use on camera, on television, 100% of the time. And every so often, I, I don't know if I said this before, but this is a custom molded ear tip. I mean, I want to say 20 years ago, I literally took wax and put it in my ear and then you send that mold off to Wisconsin, then they make you this earpiece. They keep your mold forever. So I call them up. I say, hey, I need a new earpiece. This one, you know, this plastic gets uh, yellow and dingy after every, you know, couple of years. They just send you out a new one that's been custom made. Your ear shape, your ear canal does not exactly change. Um, so I have one for the right ear. I have one for the left ear. And they send me these, um, yeah, every couple of years when I need them. So uh, that is front and center in the work bag. Again, I, I literally use that on an every day and night basis. Uh, I don't carry a lot of cables in here. I'll show you how I've cut that down in just a second. But this is the standard USB to lightning iPhone adapter. This is the only one I, I carry with me because sometimes my phone battery by the end of the day or night 
is pretty low. And I do have a multi cable here, which I'll show you, but this is really the only one that I carry because, you know, phone batteries die over time and I definitely wanna have that. Next thing I'll pull out is actually um, these Shure earbuds, the ones I'm wearing right now. These are the SE215s, I believe. So uh, I'm using these right now for the video, but I also carry these just in case I can't use this uh, earpiece or I wanna have two ear, uh, earbuds, one in each ear. These also seal quite a bit better in my ears. So if I'm in a very noisy environment, we're doing a remote broadcast somewhere where there's a lot of people when we used to do that, um, I pop these in, but these are also good uh, because I can use them obviously with an iPhone. So uh, here is the adapter for that. I guess I'll hold it closer to the camera. So I have an adapter for that plus every single other adapter you could imagine. Uh, this one right here for, well, it's not focusing, but uh, this is a uh, quarter inch mono adapter. I believe I have a stereo one in here as well. So pretty much all the adapters you could need in this little pouch. Um, so these headphones. So, so, so far, earpiece and uh, this lightning cable and these headphones, and that's what we've got so far in the bag. All right, what else is in here? Uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, right? You, you gotta have one of these. Uh, you never know where you're going. Uh, you need Wi-Fi. This is a Verizon jetpack. So I, I definitely use that on uh, more than one occasion on a pretty regular basis. That's pretty handy to have. Um, let's see what else here. I've got, uh, these are desk keys that I just keep on a, you know, a pretty obvious keychain. like don't lose this thing. It's kind of like this, uh, this stretchy thing. And here's my desk keys at work. I lock some things up in my desk at work. Uh, so those are always with me. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I've already done a whole separate video on this broadcaster's uh, favorite pen right here. This is the BIC, the BIC four color, red, green, blue, and black. Uh, these are great for keeping score, for making notes. Uh, broadcasters love these because these seem to never run out of ink and it's four colors all in one. Um, watch your favorite play-by-play -play announcer. They will likely be using one of these pens to make their notes. It just, it helps you sort through information to have it color-coded however you like. So this is my number one pen. Um, I do have a couple backups in here, but to be quite honest with you, uh, I'm always pulling out this guy first and foremost. All right, uh, anything else in here? I think that's pretty much it in this kind of yeah, main pocket area. There's also like a back pocket area, but there's really nothing in there right now. Okay, uh, so let me throw this stuff back and I will unzip the next door number two. What's behind door number two? All right, put that all back in there because I'm actually gonna go downstairs and use it tonight. All right, here we go with uh, door number two. Now, this is more of an odd shaped like longer pouch. There's this one in front of it. There's also this one in front of this. I'll show you what's in here in a second. But this is a pretty deep one. I mean, I, I could literally stick my whole hand in there. How about the makeup bag and makeup supplies that I literally, I don't even use these anymore. Um, well, I'll just show you what's in here. Let me put this down. Uh, this is a product that I had been using for uh, 15, almost 20 years, Mac Studio Fix. I am the color, which maybe you can see on here, NW30. That's neutral, warm, and then 30. It's the color of my face it's supposed to match. Um, looks like that. I mean, I oh, look at I can... Oh, that's pretty cool right there. Look at my... <laughs> <laughs> myself in the reflection. Anyway, uh, makeup here, there's usually a little applicator pad below. I know some people are very familiar watching this, what this is. Some people have no clue. You take this, you take this, you wipe it on your face, you blot it all around. I also have a video I made earlier this summer or this past summer, no, last year uh, summer on my channel. I don't use makeup anymore on television. I generally just do not do it. I'll blot off a little bit of oily skin, uh, but unless something is mandatory that I absolutely need it, like a huge blemish or something or a skin irritation, I've, I've just stopped wearing makeup. I explain why in that video. I will save that for you to watch it some other time. Now, so there's this, which kind of cover, this is, this is foundation and powder. And basically this kind of just covers up. Um, it kind of makes your skin all one color, all one tone. And then it, it, um, kind of puts a matte finish on it so you're not so shiny. And, and when you get in, in front of television uh, lights, yeah, your skin, all those oils are going to create uh, a huge shine on most people's faces. So 
again, I just blot it off with kind of like a, a towel, a paper towel, something like that. Um, but that's what the primary focus of, or purpose of this makeup is. And then there's uh, more of like a cover up here, which includes um, this brush and includes, uh, what does it say here? Studio finish, oh, concealer. That's what this is called. Also NW30. So I matched up the same colors here. And this one has, it's kind of like a little creamier finish and you just literally kind of dab it like a paintbrush and you, again, you cover up little spots, but I have not used this stuff in uh, years now. I don't think I've used makeup since the start of the pandemic for television purposes, at least not that I can remember. I mean, maybe once or twice here or there trying to cover up something bad, you know, skin malfunction or whatever, but um, that's pretty much it. So uh, that's in my bag. What else is in here? Okay. Um, I have, and I gotta, I gotta be careful here and cover this up because it's got, <laughs> it's got my phone number on it. So I'll, I'll hold it this way. Uh, this is a uh, Logitech mouse. I don't actually know the specific model number. Uh, oh, it's the MX Anywhere 3. Now what's cool about this, here's, I'll just cover up my phone number, um, is that you can actually assign it to three different uh, computers. So I have this connect to my Mac laptop here. I also have it connect to my work PC, which is downstairs. So I, I, it's great. It's a tiny mouse. You don't have to recharge the battery very often. Uh, but I use this a ton actually, because I just, I don't like scrolling on the touchpad as much as I use the computer here at work. And pretty much laptops are the only computers I use here. I like to have a good mouse that goes with it. It's got this um, mag lock or, or magnetic scroll wheel. I push this button and it kind of free flows. Actually here, let me turn it on first. Yeah, there we go. I push this button and then all of a sudden this scrolls freely. If I push it again, now it kind of has like a magnetic clicking to it. I really feel the texture of when I'm scrolling. Anyway, Logitech, great mouses. I also have the, it's like the MX something Master, MX Master 3 at home, but this is a smaller version of it that I use. Uh, I got this one just for keeping in my work bag. This is a tremendous product. I should do another video on it, but I highly recommend it. Okay. Um, Cables. I'm not uh, a huge fan of having different cables all the time. I mean, you, you certainly do need a bunch of these, uh, you know, because that's just the world we live in. Like you need micro USB, mini USB, uh, USB-C, lightning cable. So check it out. This is from, uh, is it called Chiffon? Chafin? I, I don't know the, the name brand of this, but I'm pretty sure I got it off Amazon a couple years ago. This is tremendous because there's one USB-A ending right here. Now you plug this into anything. You plug this into, and I think I have a USB, a, like a brick, a power brick here. Yeah, I do. So um, it doesn't have my phone number on it. Good. I'm, I'm very, <laughs> I put my phone number on everything, but I don't want it to appear on this video. So I plug this in here. Now, any one of these other ends I can use, and it's got USB-C, it's got lightning, it's got... Um, micro USB, sorry, micro USB and mini USB. Are there two? Oh, there, look at that. There's actually two micros, two micros, a mini, a lightning and a USB-C. So I don't need all those cables. And the, the best thing is, I mean, clearly you can see uh, this cord, they're not, this is not tremendously long. I mean, what's this whole thing like six, seven, eight inches. So all of these uh, fit in your bag quite well. You're not having to coil up a bunch of different cables. And when you're done with it, I mean, it literally just hangs like that. So uh, I saw this uh, somewhere online and I was like, that is the perfect thing for my work bag because you never know what the device is, right? Like my uh, hotspot, it uses USB micro, but I could charge my phone this way. I could charge this, uh, this mouse. Occasionally it does run out of battery, but I could charge that with this cable. Pretty much everything you need these days comes down to all of these different adapters and you have them all right here, all in one place. Uh, so that's that. Let me see. Is there anything else in here? Oh, you're going to like this. Uh, this is legitimately just a sewing kit, a small sewing kit. Uh, you never know when you're going to need. And I think there's some buttons in there, definitely some scissors. You just never know when you're going to have to fix something on the fly. Like imagine a shirt button popping on you like in the middle of the night. I'm here at work. How would I fix that? Now, I do keep pretty much all my other clothes here. So I would just grab another shirt. But if I didn't want to, or if I was traveling somewhere, if I was at a stadium or venue or arena, 
this is how, and, and I obviously know how to sew. So sewing kit, uh, small, lightweight, definitely worth its weight in my bag. I don't use it very often, fortunately. I'll put everything back here. But to me, that, that was a solid thing. A couple of years ago that I decided to uh, put in my bag and keep there on a regular basis. So that's that's pretty much um, these two front pockets down here. I don't even know. Do I have anything in here? No, there's nothing even in here. This is kind of a smaller pouch, barely any space in there. Down here, there's a little bit more space. Um, <laughs> sign of the times. A, uh, I don't know when you're watching this, maybe a couple years down the road, but a KN95. Got to always have a mask with you. Uh, that's an extra one. That's not the one I'm, I'm wearing, but uh, tonight... Okay, now this definitely has my phone number on it, so I'm going to cover this up. Uh, but this is a uh, breakout like box. It's a USB-C here. This is all for my laptop. And what this is is um, uh, USB-C out of it, but it also provides me with a couple USB ports. I can plug an SD card in here. Uh, it's got hardwire uh, Ethernet right here. So all of my all of my cables I need to plug into my laptop, I can't necessarily do it in this version of the of the MacBook. Uh, it only has two USB-Cs. So this device allows me to plug in uh, USB-A uh, type cables or another USB-C or HDMI out. Um, I used to use this for my live streams so that the computer output would come out of this HDMI output and go actually into my, my uh, live streaming switcher. So Again, this is kind of a um, a jack of all trades type device. It does so many things. It's not very big, uh, but I keep that in my bag. Okay, um, I guess those are all the the front pockets. The rest is pretty simple. There's only this main area, and there's kind of like three different pockets in here. There's a back, um, and it's padded better back here where the laptop goes. And then there's kind of a middle area. There's a zipper in here, but again, it's kind of too thin to realistically to to use. Uh, I guess that, that brings me to literally the last thing here, and that is my clipboard. Now, I say my clipboard, but I've had uh, probably <laughs> 20 or 30 of these over the years. They're, I mean, this one's chipping in the corner. They they break. They don't last forever. Um, but I, it's lightweight. It, it kind of looks like what a doctor might use. You know, It's got just the one clip up there. I This is all from my last show, I guess, two nights ago, the, the pre and the post game I did. Sharks against the New York Rangers. Here's my game log. So this is for hockey, but in baseball, it would be two scorecards, one for each team. And then behind it are the uh, are the notes I make just for doing the pre and post game shows. Um, I type these out so that I can um, read the writing, you know. Uh, it's also easier to copy and paste things, make changes. Um, these are all things, and I, I won't show you exactly what's on here, but... Um, Anyway, long story short, these are all, this is paperwork that I use on a regular basis, but I always like to have it uh, kind of tucked away on this clipboard so that it's easy in, easy out of the bag. I guess there is one more like big front pocket. Um, so this is the zippered area. And then even in front of that, um, there's kind of kind of this area over here, but I, I, I really don't put anything in this. I've, I've tried to lighten up this bag as much as possible. It can carry a ton. Like on road trips, I used to put in the Bose noise canceling headphones in here, maybe a second laptop when I need it and a second um, you know, charging unit for that computer or whatever else I need. Uh, this bag can carry a lot, but on a regular basis, I'm, I'm literally trying not to bring too much. Oh yeah, there's also the, <laughs> I don't know if you caught this, there's also the uh, Boeing flight, flight crew tag, which I have on here from some of my other life and aviation adventures. I just put that on my work bag kind of as, uh, just helps me see this thing better sometimes or identify it. Um, not that it's, it, it's usually right next to me. I don't let this out of my sight very often. Love the strap on here. It looks a little beat up by now, but nice, uh, nice and comfortable over the shoulder, the way this thing swings. I pretty much throw it over my shoulder a majority of times. So uh, that's it. That again is my, my work bag now for uh, 10 years. Yeah, and I guess... I'm just, I wanted to share this, a little sentimental about it. Obviously, what's in it is most important. Uh, but yeah, this thing has been with me for uh, thick and thin, with me through thick and thin for quite some time. So just wanted to share what it was all about. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, put them down below and I'll eventually get to them. Thanks for watching this.